Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. And illumine your church. give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being, and you set lights in the sky to govern night and day, in a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. You led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path, for you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures we give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Please pray with me now, Psalm 141. I call to you, Lord, come quickly to me. Hear me when I call to you. May my, pr- may my prayer be set before you like incense. May the lifting up of my hands be like the evening sacrifice. Set a guard over my mouth, Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Do not let my heart be drawn to what is evil so that I take part in wicked deeds along with those who are evildoers. Do not let me eat their delicacies. Let a righteous man strike me, that is a kindness. Let him rebuke me, that is oil on my head. My head will not refuse it. For my prayer will will still be against the deeds of evildoers. Their rulers will be thrown down from the cliffs, and the wicked will learn that my words were well spoken. 
They will say, as one plows and breaks up the earth, so our bones have been scattered at the mouth of the grave. But my eyes are fixed on you, sovereign Lord. In you I take refuge. Do not give me over to death. Keep me safe from the trap set by evildoers, from the snares they have laid for me. Let the wicked fall into their own nets, which I pass by in safety. Today's reading is from Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses 5 through 8. See, I have taught you decrees and laws as the Lord my God commanded me, so that you may follow them in the land you are entering to take possession of it. Observe them carefully, for this will show your wisdom and understanding to the nations who will hear about all these decrees and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. What other nation is so great as to have their gods near them the way our Lord God is near us whenever we pray to Him? And what other nation is so great as to have such righteous decrees and laws as the body of laws I am setting before you today? Here ends the reading. Our devotional today is by an author named Sheridan Boise. Each day at a post office in Jerusalem, workers sort through piles of undeliverable letters in an attempt to guide each to its recipient. Many end up in a specially marked box labeled Letters to God. About a thousand such letters reach Jerusalem each year addressed simply to God or to Jesus. Puzzled by what to do with them, one worker began taking the letters to Jerusalem's western wall to have them placed between its stone blocks with other written prayers. Most of the letters ask for a job, a spouse, or good health. Some request forgiveness, others just offer thanks. One man asked God if his deceased wife could appear in his dreams because he longed to see her again. Each sender believed God would listen if only he could be reached. The Israelites learned much as they journeyed through the wilderness. One lesson was that their God wasn't like the other gods known at the time. Distant, deaf, geographically bound, reached only by lengthy pilgrimage or international mail. No, as we just heard from Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 7, the Lord our God is near us whenever we pray to Him. What other people can claim that? This was revolutionary news. God doesn't live in Jerusalem. He's close by us wherever we are. Some still need to discover this radical truth. If only each of these letters could be sent the reply, God is right beside you. Just talk to him. And I chose this devotional today because just as these letters get sent to Jerusalem, thinking that somehow God is more specially present there, there are many people who wish to come back to this house thinking that this is the place to find God. And so the message that we need to hear each and every day, even and especially at this time, is that God is with us, beside us, no matter what we're going through. And God here is what we ask for. Take comfort in that message this day. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. 
For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Brothers and sisters, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, for all who offer here their worship and praise, for our own houses that are serving also as places of worship and praise in these times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the health of the creation, especially during these times of pandemic, for abundant harvest that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for public servants, for the government and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing and protection in this and in every place. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all servants of your church, for this assembly, and for all who are praying with us at this time, for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. At this time, I ask you to call to mind your own prayers, your own needs and petitions that all together we may pray with each other. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you through Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. Let us pray. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. And may Almighty God bless you this day and forevermore in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.